This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Um, that, that second five today, uh, you guys uh, got things going there in the second quarter, and uh, how crucial was it in the way that the way these first games go with the first five playing, then the second five playing, of really getting that energy going in the second quarter to really pull away from Jacksonville. Yeah, I think, I mean, I was just listening to Emily, just how she said our team's very deep. And in practice, we're able to um, really work with those groups and rotate. And um, I think, at, yeah, when at the second half, by that time, the other team's legs are tired and we were able to um, keep pushing because a lot of people could get in and have fresh legs. So I think that is really helpful to our team. From a defensive perspective, there in the second and third quarter combined, uh, Jacksonville shot six of 29 from the field. And uh, you guys were contesting a lot of shots and like, like Emily said, packing it in and forcing them to take tested threes. Uh, how important was that defense as this game unfolded and you guys were able to just just consistently uh, stack together runs and defensive stops to uh, really take any air out of uh, you know their sail? Yeah, so one of the things um, Coach Green and Coach Gerard like, really emphasize is uh, stacking the stops. And we were able to do that by packing the paint. And um, one of the other things is um, we were focusing on rebounding too, um, crashing the boards. And I think it allowed our defense um, just to really um, dominate in that area. You've uh, get, gotten acclimated with this team after transferring from Michigan. And uh, how have you enjoyed it so far? And uh, how, how have you been able to like transition seamlessly uh, into this uh, roster? Yeah, so I mean, everyone from the staff down to the last player on the team, they've all been super welcoming to me. And um, this team is really fun. And um, I love the culture here. And I'm excited for what the future holds. And um, I'm just thankful for this opportunity to continue my basketball career here. Now, a lot of uh, people don't usually grad transfer mid, you know, mid year. How did that work out? And how were you able to work that out with Michigan and Liberty to make sure uh, you could graduate there um, in December and then be able to transfer here and you know, pick things up basketball wise? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of that just um, goes to the people at Michigan and the coaching staff there. They really like take care of their players, and I was thankful to Coach Rico, um, and just I had a great experience at Michigan, and um, yeah, it was a blessing to be able to finish my degree and transfer to Liberty. So, did you play any in the first semester there uh, to open the season there, or did you uh, just sit out and wait to transfer to play here? Yeah, so. Um, it was uh, decided that it was in the best interest of the team, Michigan's team, um, to for me to sit out. Um, so, yeah, I'm still kind of uh, brushing off the dust a little bit and getting back into things. But um, again, I'm just so like thankful for the opportunity and happy to be back on the court. Hello, Priscilla. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So, um, came off the bench, and you and Bella were just electrifying, not just scoring, but rebounding wise. Um, did you guys have a game plan coming in to um, getting the boards? Yes, that was um, one of our three keys coming into this game: rebound, rebounding, and um, yeah, Bella did a tremendous job. I mean her effort and um, just going for the rebounds um, was great. And I just think that our mindset, our mentality was to be aggressive. And for me, that when things aren't always working on offense, like you got to find other ways to hustle and rebound and right. contribute in those ways. OK, that's good. That's good. Um so you guys will be playing the same team tomorrow. I know you guys had an excellent showing today, but do um, you think there's any adjustments that you'll make tomorrow? Yeah, I definitely think um, we will 
continue to pack the paint and continue to um, defensively focus on rebounding. Um, I think we could be a lot more aggressive as guards off the ball screen. Um, so that's one of the things I'm going to focus on and um, just continue to rebound and hustle. So. That's good. So um, how did the adjustment um, from coming from Michigan to Liberty, how has that been for you? Yeah, it's definitely been um, a smooth transition. I mean, Emily, my roommate, she's really just helped me learn the ropes around here and um, mm -hmm. been um, super welcoming to me and this whole team. And I'm grateful to be a part of this culture and program. Okay. Yep. And lastly, just um, so, I know Jacksonville, they threw like a, a couple of defensive schemes at you guys, including like a zone press and even a man press. How were you guys able to break that? Yeah, so it was a lot of just offensively reading the defense and seeing what they're, they were in and making those adjustments. Um, I think a big part of that was communication. And um, our team, I feel like we – and between the coaches and the team, I feel like we were able to communicate and um, just make that transition when we recognized their um, switch of uh, defensive defenses.